Uh, today I have got uh, a very nice assignment from one of my students. Uh, I think it was amazing. And uh, the student's name is Yu Tan Yu Tian Leng. And uh, she submitted uh, her, uh, I'm not sure, sure whether uh, he or she, anyhow. So she submitted her uh, uh, assignment on uh, my typography course. And uh, I was really amazed by the results they had. See, she had created three layouts. And in this video, I am going to show you what are the few improvements uh, I did with her design. Although her design was amazing, uh, everything was great. Uh, so let's let me show you my Photoshop and uh, show you what changes I have made to improve her designs further. But it is my liking. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, it was necessary or not yes so let's move to the photoshop so here is my photoshop screen and you can see at the top is my my uh, version and uh, at the bottom is her version of her design okay so let me first show her designs okay so this is one of them let me zoom out okay so so this is one layout and uh, this is another one uh, the theme everything looks great even the colors are looking great the images used are you know they are uh, in a theme they are combined together very gracefully okay so this was also very great you can see everything is green and the whole theme is uh, uh, nature type or uh, wild mountains and greenery okay so uh, I really loved how she used just one color to, you know, create the whole layout and the whole impact. Okay, so in this first example, the only thing I uh, suspect is the white space. You can see over here, here she can easily improve the white space and uh, also in this area. Okay, so uh, you can see this is just my liking. Okay, uh, so I broke uh, the grid okay so let me show you mm. okay so here is let me arrange them back okay so here is my version you can see I added more space over here you can see uh, between the image and this text and it is looking more spacious now so white space is really important in any of your designs you you need to use it as much as you can uh, because you if you don't have too much content still uh, in the margins like you can see on the right and left I use the full space uh, I increase the space so if I show you the grid you can see I move this image almost half your column over here okay so adjusted this uh, just with my liking I am not taking care of these grids okay uh, sorry columns and uh, on the left you can see i use this let me hide the grid okay so on the left you can see i have used this yellow bar to extend it to the left okay so this is her version and this is mine so you can see just adding a little white space can change your design a lot although her design is very nice okay now coming to this one okay so this is perfect Everything looks great. The lobster font used is really uh, related to love and everything. Okay, so just I don't like the squarish font. So, okay, although this uh, combination is great, I saw it on Google. Um, but still, I think you should uh, use some other font. So, what I did here is, let me show you my design. Okay, so here is my variation of her design. Okay, so what I did is I just use a typewriter kind of font over here, which is Anaheim. You can see at the top, Anaheim. Yeah, this one. Okay, so this is, I think, Google's font. Uh, you can download it from Google Fonts. And um, it is a great font. And uh, I think it can almost fit with uh, any any font. Okay, because it is very straight and um, typewriter is, you know, a bit... Um, uh, romantic maybe it is related to uh, the old people uh, in maybe 30 40 years ago they used to type uh, love letters or something like that on the typewriter so this is my suggestion okay also i change few of the grid settings and layout over here you can see i 
and i used a smaller font size for date because date is not very important so in our typographic hierarchy or visual hierarchy we are going to use smaller size for it okay uh, on the right over here i used this uh, font i had um it is just a um you can say dingbat font or just a few graphics over here rather than uh, using this one this okay so just uh, you can say added something okay so one more thing i did is i added more space white space on the left of this text okay so if i show you hard design you can see this is hard design and this is mine okay so even i think hard design is great i think the uh, there is one alignment issue over here that is all okay so this is my suggestion also you can see in the images this image i rounded the corners because it is a love theme so i thought that uh, it should not have very sharp con corners so i used a bit of corners over here you can if you want to increase the corner size you can increase it to 32 or something like that uh but still i think uh, these are few changes i did so uh these this text is more towards the right okay and uh, uh i created some space over here rounded corners changed the font that is all okay also one more thing is i changed this one over here okay so uh also if you see i broke few uh, grids over here vertical rhythm if i show you my vertical rhythm you can see that i moved these text according to my liking okay so here i am leaving just one space over here one space over here and one space over here one um vertical rhythm space okay and i am not thinking much about whether it is going to get into the uh, full um full three uh, three rows or three uh, three rows okay so uh, this is one thing also i changed the uh baseline okay so it is 24 be before it was 29 which was very uh, for me which was very wide okay so you can see here and this one is here so this is i did in this design okay now coming to this design let me show first first her design okay so this seems to be very perfect for me there was not any problem i think she even designed this layout better than me or he i don't know anyhow okay so uh, this is really great layout and if i turn on the grids you can see how it is designed in these grids and uh, i just tried to move these a bit down uh, so if you look uh, let me show you the change okay so you can see i just change a bit shift uh, in this text because i think it was looking very close to the image so if i turn on the grids let me show you the grids and also here i am going to show the grids okay so what i did is i just move these headings and everything and uh, they are sitting on the baseline okay rather than moving them inside these i just uh, try to sit them over here okay so don't worry about it uh, your designers web designers they can easily code it so uh, when you are designing don't worry ab much about the coding aspect okay so just make it um, uh, more vertical rhythm and everything and don't worry much about how it is going to you know be coded so just a simple shift at the bottom of the text just move them a little bit and this design was almost perfect uh, i think it was even better than mine <laughs> okay so uh, don't worry about these images if they are not touching this uh, this grid lines because they are looking great main thing is that your uh, design should look and um, uh, look balanced and it should look very good that is all uh, this is the feeling and gut feeling you need to develop okay so these assignments were really nice and uh, uh, that is all u10 lang lang and uh, uh i will see you in other lectures soon